Biggest expose on the so-called right-wing fanatic Hindu terror joining us to give us a perspective on the expose one of India's leading journalists Veer Sangvi we've got senior BJP leader BP Singhal uh, Mani Shankar Iyer will be joining us in a few moments from now and headlines today's associate editor Ashish Khaitan who's broken the story is also with us but before I begin my discussion I want to give our viewers a sense of how the RSS is also involved in this terror angle Headlines today has exclusive information that a top RSS functionary, Indresh Kumar, was in close contact with the person who planted the bomb at the mosques. The man accused of planting bombs at the Mecca Masjid and Ajmer Sharif shrine considered Indresh ji to be his mentor, turned to him for advice every step of the way. And these damning revelations come from the key witness in this case who's been tracked down by headlines today. These are serious charges, charges that Indresh ji is not willing to refute. For the last several days, Headlines Today has been repeatedly trying to get a formal reaction from the man, but so far, all we've got is no comments. Look at this man. This is Indresh Kumar, a top Rashtriya Swayam Sevak Sangh leader, a member of the Akhil Bharatiya Karyakari Mandal, the central decision-making body of the RSS. Indresh wields immense clout in the current BJP setup and is a close aide of RSS Chief Mohan Bhagwat. A headlines today investigation has found that Indresh shared close links with the terrorist who planted bombs at the Mecca Masjid and Ajmer Sharif Shrine. As per information available with headlines today, a crucial witness to the blast conspiracy has told investigators Indresh was aware of the blast conspiracy. Not just that, he had also approved of the plot to carry out terror strikes at the Mecca Masjid and Ajmer Sharif Targa in 2007. With this startling disclosure, it's the RSS central leadership which is now under the scanner in the ongoing terror probe. Headlines today has tracked down the most crucial witness in the terror conspiracy. And his revelations are damning. was a driving force behind the man you just heard is a crucial witness to the blast conspiracy. This man is from Gujarat and was closely associated with Sunil Joshi, a Madhya Pradesh-based RSS Pracharak who had planted the bombs at the Ajmer Sharif and Mecca Masjid. Joshi had confided in this man that top RSS leader Indresh Kumar was his mentor and godfather. As per the written statement of this crucial witness recorded by the Rajasthan ATS and CBI, Joshi had said that Indresh was both aware of the blast conspiracy and had also approved of the plot to strike terror at the Mecca Masjid and Ajmer Targa. The blast at Mecca Masjid had killed 17 people while two people had died in the Ajmer Sharif blast. Since then, the CBI has been investigating the Mecca Masjid blast while the Ajmer probe is with the Rajasthan police. In May this year, the Rajasthan ATS arrested two RSS Pracharaks on terror charges. The RSS said it had nothing to do with them. It claimed the two were lower level members of the Sangh. There is no such thing called Hindu terrorism at all. And uh, the, the media reports that some RSS senior functionaries are uh, involved and are being interrogated are all baseless. About certain individuals and uh, the agencies wanted some cooperation from some of our uh, functionaries. They have extended full cooperation to the agencies. With new evidence emerging against Indresh, the RSS central leadership itself is now in the dock. When contacted, Indresh denied all allegations. Among several important responsibilities that Indresh holds in the RSS, he ironically is also the head of the Muslim cell called the Muslim Rashtriya Manch. A part of the Saffron Terror Network was busted by Heman Karkare, but other modules remained undetected. The investigation now carried out by the CBI and the Rajasthan ATS is heading into a direction which could put many RSS top guns in the dock. Ashish Khetan, in Delhi, for Headlines Today.